I like how after she caught him, he's still looking around like, where the food at, though? So y'all gonna feed me? No, silly, you the food now. When y'all make me create a character. I put that leg length on max. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some animals that you probably didn't know existed. This tiny little thing is a Glaucus Atlanticus. It's also known as a blue dragon. Again, why dragons gotta be so tiny? Smaller than the palm of your hand. You know, or if you really wanna be insulting, you can call it a blue sea slug, which is what it is. It is what it is. So you can usually find this in the ocean, and it normally like floats to the surface because it has a gas-filled sac in its tummy. Me too! What this bug? He got a whole entire building on his back. Why it look like I could just pick him up for like an ice cream cone and <sighs> a bit crunchy. This is an Ambonia spinosa. It's a thorn bug and it's related to cicadas. I used to be terrified of cicadas as a child. Cause one summer they all came out and they were everywhere. Everywhere. The whole entire city was infested by cicadas. The thing on their back they use to pierce plants so they can feed upon their juicy sap. <laughs> Ugh. Ew. This is an Okapi! A what? My dude look like a zebra horse. So majestic, galloping in the wild. So despite his zebra stripes, it's actually more related to a giraffe. How, how you have this and then this? I mean the, the face, okay, I, I kinda see it now, but okay, Appy, or is it Okapi? Y'all seen kangaroos? But now we got a tree kangaroo. <laughs> Looking like he just heard the funniest joke of his life. Don't give me that look. Nah. What are you laughing at? What's so funny out there in nature? I bet you don't even got a pouch. Alright, this is actually adorable. 10 out of 10 would pet aggressively. Thorny dragon! One letter off and we would have been demonetized. Oh, so they do exist. They're just very small. don't actually breathe fire. So the thorny dragon <laughs> lives in a desert that's camouflaged to the shades of brown of the desert in which it lives in. And it actually has a false head on top of the real head so that if a predator is like, mm, mm, gotcha, it's like, no, that's my fake head. You gotta get the real head. That's where the brain juice at. <laughs> Dang boy, he thick. <laughs> In all the wrong places. This is an Indian purple frog. So this kind of frog, it ain't thick. It's just bloated in a pointy snoot. It only spends two weeks out of the whole entire year on the surface of the earth. You know, kind of relatable. And then the rest of the year is spent mating underground. Y'all should have called this the thorny purple frog. <laughs> Two weeks on the Earth's surface socializing. We getting busy the rest of the year. Whoa! If Ikea had fish, it would be this. The blue parrot fish. So it's a super bright blue fish. You can find it in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> and it spends 80% of its time searching for food. I never knew I was a blue parrot fish until now. I like how after she caught him, he's still looking around like, where the food at though? So y'all gonna feed me? No, silly, you the food now. This creature is a maned wolf. Wolf? It looked like a deer dog. Like it's got the body of a deer and then the face of a dog. Imagine if it could like disguise itself as a deer, live with them, and then eat them. So it's actually between a fox and a wolf. What does it eat though? Oh, it is an omnivore. Hmm. So it would like chicken on its salad. You know what? That's, that's, that's actually pretty cute. Y'all ever seen a two-faced cat? They exist. Whoa. You know, two sides of one personality. You combine them, we got Frank and Louie. So can y'all meow at the same time? That's crazy. How many should do that? Speaking of cats, we got this cat. And when I first saw this, I was like, this Photoshop. You know, a cat's eyes get real big. But this one's permanently like this. Why this cat be looking like the alien? An emoji. Oh, those eyes are so big. Can you still see? Eyes be looking like marbles. They don't even look real. This cat's name is Matilda and she has something called lens luxation. That means the lens in her eye detached. And when she was a kitty, her eyes kept growing and growing and growing. 
Yana is another Too Faced cat. Parents be like, oops, ran out of ink. Make the rest orange. It's so cute though. It's crazy how it just like, right down the middle. Just half and half. Imagine humans came out like that. Cover half your face, have two different identities. <laughs> I'm sorry. My doobie looking like an angry Pokemon. This is the red-lipped batfish. He looks very upset that he was blessed with the perfect pout. Like, he got some luscious, juicy lips. These are found in the Galapagos Islands. And it's a fish, but it's a really bad swimmer. It's like being a human, but really bad at living. Somewhat relatable. <laughs> Look at this dog. His name is Pig. So it's a dog, but he kind of looked like a pig. So they named him Pig. So she looks like this because she's missing several ribs and part of her spine. She can walk, but she can't run. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why you feel like that? When y'all make me create a character. I put that leg length on max. She do kind of be looking like a pig though. Oh! What is this? An Arawadi dolphin? This can't be real. He be looking too cute to be a dolphin. I know he look little and cute, but an adult can go up to almost 300 pounds. I can't believe how stinky cute this thing is. Would pet on your blowhole if you have one. This is a Dumbo octopus. They called him Dumbo, not because he's dumb, but he actually resembles Dumbo. He got little ear-like fins. This is a majestic looking creature. It's a pink fairy armadillo. Oh my dude, he's so funny. He's so funny looking. He's a small but long armadillo. It's tiny. It fits in your hand. It's like a mini pig. <laughs> I wonder if it's like scaly or if it's soft. I do enjoy how they called this a pink fairy. That's how cute it is. Oh, that's a big dog. Big. Dogs. There's some good boys. These dogs are almost as big as him. Uh, also, I always wonder, where you feed these dogs? My dogs take weeks to go through a big bag of dog food. And my brother's dog, they go through like a huge bag of dog food every single week. Y'all might as well be paying rent. You as big as a human. <laughs> Another big dog. Oh, he ginormous. Look at that tail. Dogs know they fancy when they sit like this. How you gonna be bigger than your owner? He like, I roll this couch, this household, this family, and your bank account. And my dude be like, okay. This next one is a golden snub-nosed monkey. Ugh. My dude be looking like a skeleton. He got snubbed out of a nose. I don't like monkeys. I think they're ugly. But this, look at this. Look at the child. It's adorable. It's so fluffy. And it'd be snuggling with mommy. All right, you know what? That, that's that's pretty cute. Maybe because it's fluffy. You honestly cover its face? That'd be looking kind of like a Pomeranian. <laughs> that's why I think it's cute. Everybody, stop what you're doing and bow down before Emperor Tamarin. My dude got a whole entire mustache. He gels it and everything. Most dudes can't even grow a mustache this magnificent. And yet he be chilling in the wild like banana plus. Why is it an emperor though? Oh, because it resembles the German emperor, Wilhelm II. It's sticking its tongue out at me. You're an animal in the wild. That's illegal. Put that away unless you be catching flies with it. I can't believe this is a real thing. This is called a mantis shrimp. Shrimp, but make it psychedelic. So it's also known as a sea locust or a thumb splitter. Oh. Y'all hide your thumbs. This is one of the most common predators in the sea. But little is known about them because they spend a lot of time hiding. <gasps> oh, I, I always thought these moths were from the memes. This is a Venezuelan poodle moth. It exists. Y'all just call it a poodle moth? Oh, it's that fluffy. This is the type that addicted to lamps. This is a panda ant. It's a real thing. Do be looking like a panda though. How you gonna name an animal based on another animal? And <laughs> Now that's one ant I would not step on. So these have horrible stings that can kill a cow. You don't say that ant look pretty spiky though. I would have called it the panda cactus ant. The spiky cow killer. I know y'all seen pink pigs and like hogs, but have you ever seen a fluffy pig? This is a mangalitsa, AKA a pig in sheep's clothing. Oh, so that's where that comes from. <laughs> they do be kind of looking like sheeps though. They so fluffy, I've never seen a fluffy pig before. Tell me, the bacon fluffy too? Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face. 
sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh! If you could have any pet in the world, what would you want? Comment below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.